Okay, and I'm going to start off right away with what happened. Unless you're going to talk about diseases a little bit, we're going to talk about Alzheimer's first because it's so clear that something very, very wrong is going on here. This is, this is from the Center for Disease Control. It's a, it's a lengthy article, part of a lengthy article that they published on Alzheimer's disease. Okay, I want you to, I, they compared it to a bunch of other, many other diseases. The red is Alzheimer's, that red line. Now, this thing is done on what we call an exponential curve. It's really difficult to see exactly what's going on. So what I did is I took their numbers. Obviously, the incidence is going up dramatically since 1981. But well, we've got to take it in more detail. So here's what I did. Just to explain to you how, it, uh, how we work, an epidemiologist is really concerned about a change in the incidence of disease over a period of time. What sparked that change? What caused the change? We'll look at this. We'll take this as our first example and most important example. Okay. Alzheimer's had a rate of 0.2 occurrences per 100,000, a death rate, back in 1981. So if you lived in a town of 500,000 people, you'd have one person die a year. Now, okay, 100 people a year die in that same sized town, same population. Okay, so we have, what, 200? So it's a 100 time increase in that period of time. Uh, another important thing that epidemiologists are concerned with is the exact shape of the curve. Look at that amazingly steep spike here between 1998 and 2000. What I did next was plot the consumption of aspartame. Again, you'll see this curve a lot. Oh, my laser just went out. But you can see how it, here we go. Look how steep the increase is when carbonated beverages had aspartame added to it. Now we'll combine both curves. Now here's the important thing to, to look at. You see this steep increase in consumption of aspartame. You'll see the, the mirror image of that about 14 years later. Okay. It takes about 12 to 14 years to die from Alzheimer's once you've been diagnosed. Okay, So what we're seeing here is a mirror image. The only other time this has happened so st stunningly is with cigarette smoke. This is how they prove. This chart is all they needed to prove that cigarette smoking was the cause of lung cancer. A lag of 20 years, which is about the time it takes to develop lung cancer if you've been smoking constantly for that period of time. And look at, the, look at the shape of the curve. 